Look from Sky 4 above the eerily quiet downtown Detroit on what we're calling opening evening. Uh, there's just a little more than an hour until first pitch. Area around the ballpark is of course usually packed all day when the Tigers get set for their first home game. Not so this time around. So Bernie, uh, strangest home opener I, I think that any of us can remember. Very weird, very strange, and the fact they open tonight against the Royals knowing 14 Miami Marlins tested positive today and had their game tonight canceled. With that cloud hanging over Major League Baseball, Tigers begin play at 7:10. standing by live at Comerica. With all the excitement of opening day is Jamie Edmonds. Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, Bernie. You know, if this were a normal year, this spot might not be the best for a live shot, would be right in the middle of a party. This year is different. There are some fans, some throwing the ball by the Tigers, some at the tin roof, some in bars and restaurants. So there are some people out here, but we know no people in there at game time. To be able to have no fans, to be able to have that, not have that energy, um, you know, that, that feeling that you get, you know, um, running out there and, you know, everybody cheering and, and whatnot. That's definitely different. Different was the word of the day as the Tigers talked about opening day in an empty stadium when usually Comerica Park is rocking. Playing with no fans is something new. Um, you know, I realize how much I value, you know, the, the fans, whether it's home or away fans. While both Jordy Mercer and Cameron Mabin miss the cheers and jeers from fans, they support the reasoning behind all of the MLB protocols this season safety. It's something at the top of their minds as news broke of more Miami Marlins testing positive. I'm in a mass group text with some other guys and um, you know it, it's it, it's something that we fear you know so you know in that mass group text it's just guys just kind of reiterating you know stay safe wash your hands wash you know wear your mask. Mercer says every Tiger is following the rules 100% to try and protect themselves and their families so they can play the game they love. In Cincinnati for six days, and I think I left my room once, and that was to go downstairs to get Uber Eats. So that goes to show you that, um, you know, we're trying to take this as serious as we can. They're taking it seriously on a lighter note. They know they can't high five for home runs or what have you. So they're getting creative. Maybe they'll throw out an elbow or a shin. Also today, both guys talked about the pregame ceremony that will include a tribute to Al Kaline. They're looking forward to that because Bernie, they say he was just the best. He was no question. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, we also talked to Ron Gardenhire and that'll be coming up in sports. Kids back to you in the studio.